Hey Fanatics, EJ Briggs here, back for another video, and today I have a review on a LEGO 2022 uh, Marvel set. It is uh, based off the uh, Spidey and His Amazing Friends uh, Disney Junior show. It is the Spider-Man Web Quarters Hangout. Uh, it's recommended ages 4 and up. Uh, it is aimed at that 4 plus demographic. Is set number 10784, comes with 155 pieces, and retails here in America for about $50. And uh, it does feature our first Kamala Khan in a while, and a uh, new Goblin, a uh, new Ghost Spire, a lot of uh, the main uh, headquarters uh, for this show, some vehicles. But uh, let's start deconstructing it and see how it stacks up, starting as always. Looking at the main figures. All right, so uh, first figure we're going to take a look at is, of course, uh, Spider-Man himself. Uh, this is, or Spidey, as this is called, uh, based off his appearance in the uh, Disney Junior show. Uh, for accessory, he comes with that uh, standard Spider-Man web piece in a white color, and then he comes with... Uh, the new uh, web piece that is introduced uh, for this line, uh, where it's got a stud on the top to accept uh, the line there. Then it's got a clip on one side and a bar on the other, so you can connect them together. And I will show, show that a little bit later in the video. Uh, but talking about the actual figure, all of the figures in this uh, wave uh, use the mid legs uh, just to illustrate the short uh, kid uh, cartoony style of the uh, show. Uh, so that is really nice. And then as you can see on the torso, uh, again, it's, uh, it's the Spider-Man. Uh, d basic design uh, with the red and the blue and the spider logo. It's just uh, so simplified and uh, exaggerated and cartoony just to match with the show there. Uh, he's got some nice uh, car cartoony looking eyes there that are very nicely printed and they do have that uh, multi layer of colors just to uh, uh, accentuate the eyes and to prevent uh, um, them from being pale and uh, not big enough. I'm flipping this figure around. Uh, he's got some nice back torso and uh, head printing again. Uh, basic Spider-Man design, but just uh, overly cartoony uh, to uh, match the show there. So taking a look at uh, Ghost Spire, uh, she is pretty much unchanged uh, throughout these sets. Um, and uh, she is very nicely done. Again, has the mid legs there in purple. Uh, she has a guitar uh, for accessory in the set and it is very nicely printed. Uh, that design is exclusive to the set. She comes with a uh, white hood piece, uh, the old style, not the new one. And uh, taking that off, you can see uh, she's got that standard uh, ghost spire design to her. Uh, just uh, made way more cartoony and she's got a uh, big uh, teal uh, spider logo on the front of her chest there uh, which is really nice and uh, back torso printing again a uh, very simplified ver cartoony version of what we know uh, ghost spires custom to actually look like and then she has no back head printing I would have really liked to have seen an, an alternate face for a ghost spire here uh, with some different eye shape or something uh, considering that the back of her head is covered by that uh, hood piece there and uh, next up uh, going into Miles Morales uh, he again uh, he comes with mid legs uh, in a uh, reddish color here uh, which is very nice. Uh, torso is uh, printed uh, with uh, standard Miles design. Again, just cartoony uh, and simplified. Uh, same for the back torso and head printing. Uh, for accessories, he comes with a paintbrush with a green tip and a uh, palette, uh, paint palette uh, with some uh, various splotches of paint. Um, I have an issue with the green tip. Uh, uh, going into something that's in the set uh, you'll see in a bit but uh, there's nothing green on what he's painting in the set so I would have preferred like a blue color or a red or something uh, just to make a little some make it a little bit better uh, 
for other accessory, he does come with uh, the uh, spider uh, web piece uh, with the string uh, molded in red. So those are both uh, new and uh, kind of exclusive to the set, but I will demonstrate uh, something you can do with these, and that is uh, you can clip them together and make a kind of uh, net thing like that and uh, taking Green Goblin here for a second uh, you can uh, capture a minifigure in these uh, so that is pretty nice that is pretty nice play feature that, that uh, I feel Lego doesn't advertise that well uh, speaking of Green Goblin uh, let's go after look at Adam next uh, for accessory he comes with uh, what's called in the description a uh, trick pumpkin so it's got I assume this is supposed to be smoke or water or something uh, coming out of the uh, pumpkin there so that is pretty nice that's a, the actual pumpkin piece but he comes with uh, the mid legs in purple and then his torso is uh, very nicely printed uh, Again, it's very cartoony, very simplified, and you have some nice back torso printing. Uh, he comes with uh, that same goblin uh, hat and ear combo that we've been getting with Goblin for quite a while now since it was introduced in uh, Series 13. Uh, that is dual molded, uh, so the Green ears are a separate uh, color plastic from the uh, purple of the uh, headdress thing. And then he's got a nice uh, face print, a uh, very evil grin, but it's very uh, kidified and cartoony. Uh, nothing too scary here. And then on the alternate face, uh, he's got a uh, scared expression. So, um, uh, again, very cartoony, um, but it does get the job done, in my opinion. The last figure we're going to take a look at is uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, it's nice getting her back in a set again uh, after all these years, uh, and especially now that she's got her own Disney Plus uh, show that's currently airing. Uh, she's got uh, nice mid legs. She's got a nice torso print that is a very simplified version of her uh, outfit there. Uh, they got uh, the medium nougat uh, color for her skin tone. She's got a nice new exclusive hair piece. This is uh, brand uh, new uh, for uh, Miss Marvel here uh, for Kamala Khan and it is very nicely done. It is very uh, nicely molded and a detailed uh, hair piece. Uh, I was not expecting them to uh, mold a new one for her but uh, that is very much appreciated and it does capture her uh, likeness, her uh, hairstyle pretty well. Uh, she's got a nice uh, face over uh, face print on the front there uh, with a smiling expression and then she's got an alternate one with a even bigger grin and then you can see uh, the back of her torso uh, with uh, more of her costume details uh, they're pretty uh, simplified there uh, the only real gripe I have uh, with this figure is um, is pretty much uh, she doesn't have any accessories uh, that kind of uh, represent her uh, stretchy powers uh, pretty well so I would have appreciated if they at least included like the big uh, fist piece that they typically uh, use uh, from time to time uh, to represent the uh, minifigure scale of the Infinity Gauntlet or something uh, that would have been nice to include. So pretty much this is a set all built up. You do get the most of the bulk of the pieces do go to the actual web quarters but then we got some smaller sub assemblies for like the ghost copper, uh, copter, uh, goblins vehicle, some sub assemblies here. So as always we're going to start with the smallest stuff and then work our way up to uh, the big uh, show. Uh, so smallest of the builds here uh, you get table uh, made with a handful of pieces uh, on top of it uh, it's got a uh, red coffee mug of course and then you got a couple of uh, pizzas here 
Uh, that is not a new print, but it is uh, nice uh, to get a whole uh, pizza uh, in the set. Next up, you get a crate, uh, which houses uh, the accessories when they're not in use. So you can put the guitar in there. You can put the uh, paintbrush and uh, uh, palette in there when you're not using it. Uh, this set also gives you a, a skateboard in orange. Um, with uh, no printing on it, that is kind of a missed opportunity there. Uh, it does roll pretty nicely. And then you also get a uh, plain uh, red uh, ball uh, to uh, play with. And then the last uh, small uh, builds that don't attach to anything, you do get uh, this ramp piece uh, in dark blue uh, with a pink tile underneath uh, just to stabilize it a little bit. But this ramp is for the skateboard uh, if you want to do some tricks on it with uh, your figures. Uh, so uh, looking at the next part of the build, uh, LEGO ref simply refers to this as a uh, goblin car. Uh, obviously for Green Goblin, uh, you get this nice uh, lime green and uh, purple uh, color scheme to uh, complement the goblin. Uh, you have some nice uh, four wheel tires for rolling. Uh, like 4 Plus, it's built on a simple chassis. You've got some nice uh, engine details right here. The uh, clips in yellow on either side is for a uh, play feature for if you want to use the uh, webbing included in the set. You can use uh, that just to uh, web up the vehicle as uh, one of the play features. So that is uh, what that is for uh, if you want to use it like that, but it's not advertised particularly well on the box. Uh, but you can do that and uh, this is described as a two-on-one uh, simply uh, because you can put goblin here in the center uh, controlling the vehicle uh, but if the vehicle gets compromised anyway uh, this just simply lifts up, lifts up. It's only attached uh, via uh, one by one uh, jumper piece down there and some grills. Uh, but pretty much, uh, this is the most simple four plus version of a Goblin uh, glider. You just have the little uh, flag pieces on either side that you can uh, articulate however you want. Uh, Goblin just uh, stands there in the front right there with a nice little spot uh, you can see some uh, colors uh, back here that are used in the build but that's not really a problem and you do get a nice uh, grip on this uh, to make it uh, very uh, swooshable next up is an actual uh, vehicle from the show uh, it's the ghost copter uh, you got a nice array of colors uh, chosen here uh, you get the pinks uh, some of the purples some of the whites a little bit of uh, light blue there in the front uh, just to correspond with all of uh, Ghost Spire's uh, colors. Uh, you get this uh, piece that was introduced uh, for the sub theme here in pink uh, clipped on the sides there. Uh, it uses that uh, animal body um, mold that they introduced a couple of years ago for Ninjago here uh, for uh, dragons uh, just in white here uh, just to give a nice quick base uh, for this uh, set uh, you get a nice uh, print on the front of uh, the nose there a very nice print a no control panel uh, and you could have easily fit one right there so I I have no idea what that is about and that is a little disappointing but ghost spider just you know just sits right in there uh, you don't have to bend your legs you just uh plop her in there right uh, like that and she fits pretty perfectly and it looks really good again no control panel and then at the back here you have uh, these turbine pieces in uh, this pink color uh, which is new for this piece and these uh, pretty much can uh, rotate all around 360 so you can really uh, play with this and you get the turbines to go in it and they uh, spin up really nicely so uh, you get a little tail there uh, pretty simple build but it does get the job done does reflect the uh, uh, in uh, universe uh, 
vehicle pretty uh, darn well in my opinion. And uh, looking at the uh, cube, the biggest part of the build are the web quarters. Uh, you got a nice array of colors used here. You got a nice uh, light blue uh, for the base uh, and some uh, white, some uh, red, some blues uh, all, all working together uh, to make this thing uh, pretty uh, nice to look at. Um, starting uh, on the uh, left here, uh, you get a little uh, platform uh, for Gwen Stacy to uh, rock out uh, with some of her uh, music. Uh, you get a nice uh, print for a speaker here, uh, which is uh, showing some notes. And then on this uh, one by two, uh, you get a nice uh, keyboard print. Uh, that is not new, uh, but is nice to see a reuse. And weirdly enough, uh, that piece has a hole in it for some reason. Uh, I don't know why they opted to use that part. Uh, you get uh, slides on either side of this main platform here, uh, just to get down to the lower levels uh, pretty easily. Uh, down there in the center uh, that is where that crate for uh, all the uh, extra accessories uh, goes and you do have a basketball net here attached uh, for uh, the basketball that I showed earlier uh, you can play uh, basketball with your characters uh, you got Tracy here um, which I showed off uh, in better detail in the uh, Doc Ox uh, lab there um, earlier, uh, but it is a nice uh, new mold for this uh, wave of sets, and it does have some nice printing on it. Uh, going in, going into the middle there, uh, you have a nice uh, command uh, count. Uh, center here uh, where you can place some figures uh, you got a nice uh, screen here uh, that is a game controller on the uh, bottom down there uh, just reused from uh, I believe series 19 uh, you got a nice printed part uh, showing uh, goblin uh, alerting that uh, goblin is attacking uh, the web quarters there uh, but uh, there's a game controller uh, like I said, uh, no indication on this thing that there is a game being played. I would have loved to have seen uh, this be an interchangeable a little screen or something. And then working the way up to the top here, uh, you have this nice printed dome uh, with the Spider-Man uh, logo there. Um, and it's just hinged up there. Uh, something to note. Uh, the printing only uh, goes to about there, but on the box and instructions and everything, uh, the printing is shown to go all the way to the edge of the dome. So I don't know if that was a printing error or uh, Lego is just false advertising and they wanted it to print that way, but uh, they couldn't. Uh, anyway, it's false advertising in my opinion. And then flipping this around to the back, you can see the back of that dome. And then you get these uh, weird little bar things at the back, which again, not really advertised what these are for, but what I found is they are to store uh, the net uh, the web pieces uh, when you don't want to use them so that is pretty nice that they do at least give you storage uh, for those uh, in case you don't want to play with them or you want to not use them uh, I do appreciate the uh, storage space there uh, so many times they don't give a uh, storage space uh, for accessories and then down here on the other platform slide down to get to it let me bring you down there uh, slide on this side to get down to this lower platform and uh, this right here is a nice also a print again there's no stickers and four plus sets uh, but you get this nice print of uh, something that uh, Miles is painting and that's why I was saying uh, when I was looking at the figure and his accessories uh, he has a green paintbrush but there is nothing on here that is green uh, it should have really been blue or pink or red or uh, black or something some new color that we could have gotten uh, for that but uh, um, 
overall this is pretty uh, nicely done pretty sturdy uh pretty easy to put back together if uh you uh damage it but um and a nice uh, amount of space uh, to pose minifigures all over, uh, play with it, uh, pretend with it. Uh, for extra pieces for this big uh, $50 web quarter set, uh, all we get is uh, extra Technic piece, and then you do get an extra one of the uh, paintbrush pieces. Uh, looking at the instruction booklets, uh, we get it's separated into three builds. Uh, pretty much, uh, first book builds the uh, entire web quarters itself uh second book builds uh, uh the green goblin stuff and the ramp and then the last book builds uh the ghost copter with the other accessories uh pretty much uh spidey uh, is the uh progress bar for the first book um i believe Green Goblin is the progress bar for the second, uh, and on this one, you get a cross sell for uh, Mickey and Friends and the rest of the Amazing Friends line. Rebuild the world. Uh, back of the first one, you just have nothing and the win. And then the third one, uh, you just have the parts inventory, and you have uh, Ghost Spire sporting uh, the uh, progress bar for that. Uh, but my issue here, um, if Lego's trying to be more environmentally friendly and uh, with their uh, products, this is wasting paper. Uh, this is just, because these two instruction booklets don't need to be here. Uh, because this one, this just builds like the ghost copter and like the little accessories on the web quarters like this could have easily been combined and this one too uh into the main one uh what takes up the most amount of pages here is this uh the hands uh showing uh which parts to uh grab for each step uh that this is just a tremendous uh, waste of paper to me for a company that is trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. So I'm not really uh, too fond of this. So looking at the bo box, it's a big uh, $50 size box. Uh, you have that uh, Amazing Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends branding. Are you mixed in with the uh, typical uh, Marvel branding that we've been seeing uh, since last year uh, where you have uh, the different uh, white blocks uh, with just uh, images of uh, various Marvel characters. Uh, you have that nice uh, park shot of uh, the characters from the uh, Spidey show as well as Disney Junior uh, 4 Plus in the corner letting you that know that it's a 4 Plus set. And uh, on the top of the box, you just have more of that uh, comic brick border, as well as uh, Spidey sporting the actual size reference there. Uh, side of the box, you actually have a lego fight version of uh, the promotional stuff from the front. And then back of the box, you have uh, the typical 4 plus uh, showing of uh, all that's included in the set, the, how um, how easy uh, everything goes together uh, with the learn to build there and then you have some nice uh, product shots of uh, different play scenarios and stuff you can do with a set. Uh, so going into my final thoughts for the set, uh, build wise, uh, not much complaints here. Uh, there's pretty much a lot to do with the set. You get a lot of builds to play with. Uh, the ghost copter is done pretty well. So as Goblin's weird car thing, uh, you get a lot of accessories uh, to do with uh, the web quarters that are integrated pretty well. A lot of nice play area. Uh, there is question all about that little hole on the keyboard part of uh, the ghost spider area, but maybe that's all they had for parts. I don't know, but um, 
overall. Uh, build is uh, pretty nice. Lead on. Uh, otherwise, my only other issue uh, with that computer screen, I would have loved to have seen a uh, separate print for that so it can be rotated out so you can uh, not have that constantly be uh, scenario specific of uh, Green Goblin just invading the headquarters. Uh, I would have loved to have seen uh, something else. Um, me figure wise, uh, only real complaint I have is with the accessories of Miles. Again, I, I said in the review, uh, he should not have had a green uh, paintbrush. It should have been blue or red or something uh, just to go with uh, the painting that's in his area that he is painting. Otherwise, that doesn't make any sense of uh, why he has a green uh, tipped uh, paintbrush there. So. Uh, also, uh, pretty good to begin uh, Kamala Khan again. Again, uh, as I'm recording this, uh, her show is currently airing, and it is awesome. Uh, so it is good to get a figure of her out on the market again. Um, Ghost Spider and uh, Goblin are pretty good inclusions here too. Uh, his pumpkin, her, his trick pumpkin mom, excuse me, uh, is uh, pretty well uh, done too. Um, Quality wise, uh, the dome uh, uh, with the spider logo that is just on the box, here, as you can see, or in the instructions, or as they show in like the little graphic in the parts list of uh, of that print going all the way to the uh, edges of the dome there, uh, and it, on the actual set, it's uh, not like that. So that is very much false advertising, in my opinion. And then the other thing, um, those instructions uh, for an environmentally an environmental conscious company that like I was trying to be uh, be better at uh, the multiple uh, instruction booklets is just a waste of paper in my opinion and if you're going to be that environmentally friendly or trying to be uh, should not be wasting uh, paper uh, for uh, printing uh, that much instructions I get why it's just it doesn't look necessarily good, in my opinion, uh, to be wasting that much paper. Uh, and uh, going into the price, uh, which is the biggest thing here, uh, $50 for about 155 pieces. Again, this is a 4 plus set. Most of those pieces are pretty large, especially uh, the ones used to build uh, the actual web quarters. Uh, that kind of makes the price... Uh, relative the pieces look absolutely abysmal uh, but looking at this entire thing uh, for 50 bucks for this uh, yeah uh, it is absolutely worth that uh, pretty much uh, you get a nice uh, web quarters here you get some vehicles to play with uh, nice array of figures uh, overall uh, very much worth that so this set does get uh, seven and a half out of ten for me uh, again highly recommend it um, and uh, is worth the pickup, especially uh, for that Kamala Khan figure like she is the like the standout uh, figure here even though I would have liked to have seen something get uh, representing her uh, specific power set. But uh, that does it for this review. Uh, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And, the, uh, and I always look forward to the discourse there. Uh, like, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, share, all that jazz so my channel can uh, grow, uh, reach more uh, fanatics, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, stack on.